everyone welcome back oh my gosh we are on to video one of this uh open collaboration with my partners um miss melinda davis and miss melissa sue of course links down below um for the hashtag one collection three styles 23 if you missed the announcement of the collaboration that will also be linked down below i will be creating a playlist and uh, we are, it's an eight part series where we are all taking one collection, one collection uh, that is from Christie's Printables on Facebook. And it's the Shabby Chic Backgrounds. It's about 54 pages. Oh my gosh, they are just so beautiful. And we're each, um, we each got different ideas when we looked at it and we thought this would be great for us to be able to share our inspiration and ideas with you guys and we're going to walk you step by step i promise you the videos will not be long um and if you didn't know what the videos are um they are starting today right where part one is going to run all the way to part eight which ends in our final flip through this is also located in the description box if you want to follow along it's going to be running consecutive except for saturday and sunday um, that's those are family days, right? And then we're gonna pick it back up on Monday, finish on Tuesday. Uh, I'm sorry, pick it up on Monday, finish on Wednesday, and go live on Thursday. So we are doing the cover today. And if you didn't know, I am doing an album. I have done eight by eight albums. I decided on a seven by seven, and I'll explain to you once we get to part two on choosing and printing the pages. But I decided on a 7x7, seven seven, and today we're going to put the cover together. Very quick video, um, nothing serious. I have measurements for you if you decide um, to follow along. So I have two cereal boxes. Well, these aren't cereal boxes. This is a pizza box, right? I saved all my cardboard. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you start adding your paper and then your designer paper, and if you're doing other layers, trust me, it gets really solid really fast. So I cut two pieces to be seven by seven for my front and back covers. I cut my spine to be three and a half by seven, okay? And then to cover those, I cut two pieces out of 65 pound cardstock at eight and a half by eight and a half and then I cut one for my spine to be five and a half by eight and a half and I didn't do any prep work because this is how fast this comes together and all I'm gonna do is lay some tape along the edges and then I'll do some in the center I have been so excited with this um, collaboration. Um, the paper is shabby chic. I have not done anything shabby chic. I haven't done a journal. I did do an MDC and um, it came out really pretty. I love it. And I wanna see if I can do something a little similar to that. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay the tape while I have it in my hand. This one is fairly easy. This one will just go straight down and I hope I stay in frame. I don't do many tutorials because I tend to go off frame and I also tend to hug towards myself. Uh, bring the project closer to myself. So let's almost done. Okay, then we're gonna do this one. And you can tell we love pepperoni pizza. Love pepperoni pizza. This tape is um, is double sided tape. I get it at my local discount for a dollar fifty. Sometimes two dollars is basic. I um, usually find them a lot in the discount stores in their crafting spot for um, paints and glue sticks and. Um, you know things like that it's not um, it's not very pricey 
and it allows you know once I start doing my layers I've never had a problem with one of my journals coming apart or this tape um, being ineffective for me okay so we're gonna just burnish all of this down really good And then I'm gonna grab one of my eight and a half by eight and a half, okay? And this is gonna go right here. I should lay this mat down for you to be able to see. I'm sorry about the reach, but I think this might actually do better on black. Love these silicone mats, but they do get very lengthy very fast, especially if you're dealing with fabrics and stuff. Anything that sheds. So, here we go. Um, this is the method I'm going to be using for my cover is tomorrow's lay flat method. It's the one I, I favor the most. Um, I don't have to worry about my paper cracking. I don't have to worry about... The book laying flat because it is the lay flat method so it just naturally opens up and I just use it for any kind of book building whether it's um, journals or albums so I'm just gonna lay this roughly in the center okay I'm gonna flip it over give it a good burnish and then I am just going to bend this upon itself. Okay. There we go. I'm going to do the last one. And then I am going to miter my corner. So I'm just going to come in a little bit this way and a little bit this way. Just to reduce the bulk in the corner. Keep it that way it this way okay and the last one okay toss all my my trash to the side and I'm gonna grab my other score tape and this one is just gonna go on the inside so it can hold it down while it dries because I'm going to come in with wet glue. Right. Give this a turn. And this mat, I think it's going to be my, my default because it kind of lets me know or it reminds me that I need to stay in frame. Give that a good burnish. And I always start with the long tape. It's my own preference. It's nothing scientific about it. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I can't explain it. Right, come in with some wet glue. go and start in the center and work your way out okay work your way out work your way out okay I have my rag and then we're gonna come this way in the center and then work your way out Let's get that glue off of there because I am a messy, messy crafter. Then we're going to build in the sides. And then I'm just going to take this little piece and just curve it in. Make sure my corners are curved in. Okay. Let me just make sure I have along the edge. And then we're going to bring that down and over. And then we're going to do that to the last side. My watch is just 
going off with notifications. We were chatting, we're having a group chat. All right, so that's done. One half done. I'm gonna do the same thing to the next one. Grab my other piece. I'm gonna lay it down. I burnished it too good. Can't get it up. I need a good start. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. Okay. So I am on vacation when I'm recording this because I will be going back to work when these videos are going to be releasing. And um, hubby's at the gym, so I'm taking advantage and getting some recording done. Okay. We're gonna bend this in, and we're gonna bend this in, and we're gonna do the same for this one, and then the last one. And then we're gonna miter the corners just a little bit to reduce that bulk, and I go up a close to the corner without going over. Sometimes I do cut it close. As much as I do this, it's never perfect. You know, I don't have it down to a perfect size. All right, so we're gonna get this one in. Okay. And then we're gonna come down here. Covers come together very quickly. Um, I used to, or during my busy seasons when I'm making albums, because I do sell my albums, and I'm actually working on a cozy shop. Okay, I'm reaching the end. Will it make it? Yes. Um, to fill my um, coffee shop, Kofi does not have um, listing fees that I noticed. And... Um, And I don't believe their listings expire either. I don't think. I'm, I'm still researching it. All right, so these are my long sides. So I'm going to come in this way. Okay, and then I'm going to come in from the center and then push outwards. Okay, and flip. Do the same thing for the opposite side. And then we're going to come in this way, okay, we'll do the ends, so I hope everyone is doing well, let's clean that up, and you see I didn't turn in my corner, so we have that little piece sticking out, but it's such a small piece. I'm just gonna lightly trim away and then it'll curl back in. So while I that became evident, let me bring in these sides and then we're gonna do this last one and we're almost done. We're gonna do the spine next. Okay, there we go. So we have our two cover pieces. Now we're gonna do the spine. Okay, we're gonna bring in our five and a half by eight and a half sheet of paper. Okay. And then we're going to put it all together. So we have that. We have that. And we have that. As close to the center as we can get it. Right? 
Okay. Give that a good burnish. Then we're going to come in this way. The opposite way. This way. And this way. Okay. There we go. This is not as close as I want it. There we go. Yes. All right. So now this finished. Let me grab another one. I have them hanging here on my light. This one's a little thicker. Hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. So I'm only going to do this on the top and the bottom. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. I'm going to give this a good burnish. And I'm also going to use wet glue. Because I am not framing this piece. This is going to be my attachment. So this is going to come in. And then right here, I want to give it the crease to help it bend. I'm going to do the same thing here. And then I'm going to come in on the edge there and push up. So now we have that. Can you see that there? Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, all the way across, right? And we're gonna bring it down to the edge, get in that corner, and then push up. And then the same thing here, all the way to the edge, in that corner, and push up. So you have those edges. Okay, we're gonna let that right here for just a second, right? Make sure those creases are in there. And then we're going to start training these to bend a little bit this way. And I'm going to explain to you why. Okay, let's get that going there. So on this side, you want to hug up against the cardboard and get a nice clean edge in there. So we're going to come up and hug up on it, okay, while it's still wet, because it's going to want to hold on you, okay, 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 there we go. So we got a definitive edge. I'm going to bend this forward, and then I'm going to grab one of my pieces, and we're going to build our cover. I do not want to go all the way to the edge. I don't want to glue the, the edges together. It'll make it very difficult to open and close your, um, to lay flat your book. And all I'm going to do is bring one to the other. So I'm going to meet it edge to edge, right? And just line it up. There we go. So it's lined up, see that? I'm gonna open it up, and then I'm gonna come in here, and I'm gonna give it a good press. So this is what it looks like on the back, see? Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna fold this in. I'm gonna come in and just glue myself my line. Now I'm going to bring in my cover. And then I'm going to tack it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to bring them together. Here we go. Lined up. Give it a good press. And then we're going to open it up. And we're going to come in on this side. Okay. And then that's what it looks like on the back side. And our cover is built. 
we are rocking and rolling for part one look at that look how fast awesome now we can start building the inside so here is our cover for part number one of the hashtag one collection three styles 23 with melissa and melinda uh kicking it off on today monday august 21st next part will be tomorrow and of course i'm remember i'm going to create a playlist in my description box we're going to choose and print our papers now i printed my pages but i will explain to you my process behind that and why i chose this size all right so hope you are playing along let me know what you think are you excited i am super excited shabby chic oh my gosh all right guys till the next one see you real soon bye now and be sure to check out my ladies